Black Forest Porter. I see cherries, man. Today we are gonna drink a beer from Annex Ale Project called Postscript, which is a Black Forest Porter, a strong beer. Uh, so 6.3 percent. Yeah. So looking forward to trying this one in a wrapped can. Yeah. Not much of a pop. It's dark. It is dark. Look at the foam. It's dark. Cheers. 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 Hey guys, Jeff and Mike here with Bushcraft Bros, and today we're doing a head-to-head -head challenge. My stick stove against Mike's alcohol stove, so stick around. <laughs> Much better than my first attempt on camera. Man, I shouldn't have had so many beers last night. <laughs> here you can see uh, sort of the evolution of the stick stove, and we tested a lot of different types of stoves. We had a lot of different designs, tested them multiple times, uh, but they all had some inherent issue where they just weren't trapping heat and in most cases they weren't getting enough oxygen. That was almost always the problem. Um, so you can see the, the can stove here uh, on the far right. That's the one that we ultimately came up with. Uh, the slits in the bottom provided enough oxygen for the fire to burn down at the bottom but it also had enough metal on the can to reflect the heat back into the center, which kept that fire hot in there. And then at the top of the can, with the big cutouts, that's where we needed to introduce a lot of oxygen and get big flames. First of all, fuel. The alcohol stove, you will be required to go and purchase some type of fuel. Um, you'll also be required to carry that fuel with you. And lastly, there's always a chance that you could run out of that fuel. Um, whereas the stick stove, uh, you've got fuel pretty much everywhere you go. You've got an unlimited supply. You don't have to carry it and you don't have to buy it. So when it comes to fuel, we're going to go with the stick stove. Expense of building the stoves. The alcohol stove really is just an aluminum can, so uh, it's worth about a 10 cent deposit. Whereas the stick stove is just a used can from your house, so it really costs you nothing. However, the alcohol stove will require you to buy, quite likely, some type of fuel. So when it comes to expense, although it's not very much, um, we'll go with the stick stove. Heat output. The stick stove did have a slight advantage because the can was a little bit bigger. Um, so when it comes to heat output, the alcohol stove is quite likely going to put out a little bit more heat and therefore boil water or cook what you're cooking faster. Uh, so when it comes to heat output, um, we're gonna go with the alcohol stove. Okay. Start. Okay, so same time, same amount. Hopefully I don't, that phone's Okay, right? let's talk yep. about the build difficulty. Um, so the aluminum can that's used for Mike's alcohol stove is definitely going to be easier to build. If you found an aluminum can and a tin can out in the in the forest or whatever in a survival situation, uh, the aluminum stove would be easier to build. Mike built his just with a razor blade. You could probably just use a knife. Um, so we'll give the build difficulty to the alcohol stove. Okay. Oh, it's getting, they're getting close, man. Oh, you got, I think you got big, you got a little bit bigger bubbles coming off the bottom right now. Yours is really starting to move though. I think I'm a hair oh. behind. What are we at? Nine minutes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's close. I would say, oh man, that's almost the same. Hold on. we got to watch close right here. Oh, there, uh, look, that's rolling. They're both rolling. They're both rolling. I, that was the exact what? Same. There's no way that could possibly happen. Okay, I've got to bring this in here. So it took about nine and a half minutes. Did that once? This water was ice cold. When it comes to maintaining the flame, the alcohol stove is pretty much a set it, forget it kind of deal. Um, once you get it set up and you've got your water heating or whatever you're cooking, is on their heating, 
you can pretty much just keep an eye on it and maybe do some other camp task. Whereas the stick stove requires constant attention. You pretty much have to stay on it the whole time. Um, when it comes to maintenance of that flame, the alcohol stove would be, would be the one to go with. So a few things that are going to affect these test results uh, might be things like altitude. Um, different materials, different fuels are going to burn differently at different altitudes. Um, one fuel burns really good at sea level, but it doesn't burn that good at 7,000 feet above sea level. So different fuels are going to affect the outcome, um, just like different types of woods are going to affect the stick stove. Using poplar, which is a nice light wood, um, might not produce as much heat as a hardwood. Um, so that's going to affect that as well. In our tests, Mike was using fondue fuel, um, but there's lots of other fuels that would probably work for this. So guys, hopefully you found this interesting, and as always, if you like the video, please click the clicks, and we'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching.